Hi, I'm Paweł Spekalski and I'm here today to finally test my new antenna tracker. Yes, the antenna tracker, the first the only antenna tracker I ever had and that was sitting somewhere on my workbench since the April, so at least three months. It is the, well, let me change the camera, it is something called the Sentinel, it was made and designed, well I printed the enclosure but everything was designed by Sick of the Rat, the guy who you might know from the MW OSD, yeah the same guy that made the OSD that years ago we all were using and well it's the place for the module of over here it's two antennas, I have one uh, antenna from the ProDrone and one from the Foxy, I think this is Eco 2, which gives me around 9 dBm, 9, 9 dB, not dBm, 9 dB of the, of the gain and that's all. What's interesting is that this antenna does not need any kind of the special telemetry because the telemetry is built in into the OSD. Into the first line, the line zero of the of the image, there is the information about the azimuth, distance, elevation and so on. So the antenna tracker knows more or less what it's doing. Let me find the battery, let's connect this thing and let's see if it's working like it's supposed to be working. Okay, I have the antenna, unfortunately this is something like, let's say, the two hands operation and I have only two hands, one hand left because I'm holding the camera in the other. So first let's connect this to the power source and let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, it made something. The manual says that during the boot you have to place the antenna into the north direction because this thing is working only with the azimuth. And okay, north is almost exactly that way, so let me secure that and now let's go and power up the quad, let's see if this will catch the uh, telemetry encoded into the OSD. Originally I wanted to use one of my flying wings, but then turned out that this thing is completely not uh, compatible with the FreeSky uh, Pixel OSD, so I had to refurbish and bring from the dead my Source One, uh, so that's my Source One. I was probably not flying for the last at least one year, maybe even slightly longer, so let me power this thing and one more time, this is two-hand operation with one hand taken by the camera. And let's see, okay, yes, it's doing this. Uh, the Malnua says that it, when this thing will catch the telemetry, it will go 90 degrees up. Is it 90 degrees? Okay, let's say it's 90 degrees. And I'm not sure if you can see on the, on the OSD over here, but yeah, pan zero, tilt 90, voltage okay, the RSSI of the telemetry is fine and the wide LED is on that means it's receiving the telemetry. So what is left is probably to arm it and see if this thing will move like it should be moving. Okay the quad is safely parked in the air with enough. Let's move this thing slightly further away and let's see what the antenna tracker will do. Because as soon as I will be far enough it should, ah, uh, one more time, it's super hard to fly, okay, okay, you see, you see, it's doing this thing, it's doing this thing, it's starting to work like it's supposed to, okay, so it's tracking, but one more time, this is three hand operation, holding the antenna and flying a quad, even in the position hold mode is not that simple, okay, okay, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving, okay, now let me move to the side. Okay, it's moving, it's following the quad and it's following the quad more or less precise, not very, but maybe I just missed the north a little, which is very possible, we'll have to check with the compass where really north is over here but nevertheless let me fly slightly closer okay and let's see what's gonna happen now okay okay and now we are going sideways antenna should follow yeah you see it's following. Okay, that was actually nice. Now the question is because it has a dead zone at the rear, let's see what's gonna happen when I will go past the south mark. Eh, 
<laughs> it did a thing and now it's following it's tracking again so kind of nice That's now the final test what's gonna happen when i will engage this thing during the return to home And it's landing. So yeah, so far so good. Seems like this thing is really indeed working. The ir irritating part is that it has a dead zone uh, in the south direction behind the or original direction because, well, this is only not a 30, 360 servo and when it tries to rotate, uh, it just has to go around. So this is the irritating part. So probably it's not the best way, best thing to fly south of yourself with this thing. But I've heard from the author of the software that there is a new version that kind of fixes it when you can define in which orientation you have to put it originally and besides that yeah seems to be working now i will connect the uh, goggles via the cable and i will do some flying with my freshly restored from the abyss of i don't know what my source one and see how this thing is flying right now maybe i will even go slightly longer than usual although i'm not sure because i think it will be raining in the minute uh this cloud over there doesn't really look very good that's all for today thank you very much for watching and until the next one bye bye